Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Oh dear, right. Today's review, we've got a can of Cruz Campo Sevilla. Look at that lovely looking Spanish lager. Absolutely beautiful looking can. Brewed, of course, in Spain, Manchester. Oh wait, yeah. It's not Spanish at all. Everybody's being fooled. Again, uh, not everybody, but you know, your sort of average sort of bloke who doesn't really think too much about beer and just drinks whatever's put in front of him. Um, everybody's being fooled. This is not Spanish at all. It's brewed uh, in the UK uh, by Heineken in their Royal Brewery. It's 4.4% ABV. There is a Spanish version of this drink which is 4.8% ABV. And in Spain, they absolutely hate the stuff. It's rated like their worst lager. People mock that beer so badly. So Heineken decided, oh, it's got quite a cool little name though. Uh, we'll completely change the recipe, they say, to suit the British public. The British public, whose most brought lager is Carlin. And then you've got like Bud and stuff like that. It's really popular to the British public. So basically what that means is they've taken a really, really bad beer, which is Spain's laugh about and mock and made it even worse than that, I'm guessing. Um, put it in a really nice can, which they've obviously put a lot of effort into making it look as Spanish as they possibly can. Give it the Spanish name of that beer that doesn't do well in Spain, uh, you know, and sell it cheaply. And people will be like, oh yeah, let's drink that. It's absolute ball. It really is. Um, I'm going straight in there with this, right? Because before I even try this beer, I know it's not going to be good. You just know. Um, it just They're literally just trying to fool people. It's probably going to taste like bloody Carlin or some crap like that. Foster's or, you know, it's just going to be a generic pile of crap. I'll be really surprised if I like this after all this. I've honestly never tried this, not in on tap, out of a can bottle or anything. This is my first time trying this beer of any type. Um, but, you know, I found out about this um, just for the review. And I just wanted to make people aware of it. You know, unless it's absolutely amazing and I'm completely wrong. I really hate everything this beer stands for. Literally, you know, it's, it's they're just taking the mick. Trying to make people think that this is a some exotic Spanish beer. You know, this beer in this can has never been in Spain before of any type. You know, the beer, the one in Spain with the same name is completely different. It's all just a load of marketing crap to trick people into thinking this is a good beer. Another beer that did it is Madri, which is why it's going in the Madri glass. Now, Madri wasn't great. It's a crap beer, but most of the UK beers are crap and, you know, it wasn't bad compared to your Carlins and your Fosters for me, but it's still not a good beer, really. It's okay. Some people rated it, um, which really surprised me. It's just an okay at best lager for me. Um, you know, they've got the old Tyson Fury thing on there. Again, it's not a Spanish beer, is it? But um, yeah, because Madrid got away with it. People bought it, believing it's Spanish, sold by the absolute shit ton. So uh, this is what happens. People buy this. Uh, they allow them to get away with it and make loads of money. Why are they going to go, well, well, we'll do that. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to keep happening if people keep buying these beers. Um, <clears throat> I've paid a tenner for a 10 pack. I wouldn't have even brought these if I knew that beforehand. Um, that was in Tesco's club card price. Um, yeah, Heineken say this is marketed at the cost of living and all that, like they're trying to help people out. But no, they're just thinking of themselves, this is probably a really basic, basic, basic beer that people are going to think is something special because of the name. Right, there we go. It's in the glass. It's, it's got a really white, foamy head. Big bubbles, medium sort of levels of carbonation in there. Let's have a whiff. I mean, it looks, it, it don't look too bad. It looks like what you would want a beer to look like when you're trying to fool everybody, to be fair. 
You know, it's got a really nice white, sort of soapy looking head. Yeah, it's the sort of colour where most people are just going to think, yeah, that looks right. Let's have, a, let's have a sniff. Hopefully I'm wrong. It sells, smells so generic. Like, so much little effort has gone into this. It's, it smells cheap as anything. It smells... Like, I was guessing it would smell. It smells grainy. It smells metallic. And it smells a bit like piss. It, you know, it, it smells like you're carling or, or, you know, something like that. It doesn't smell good. The funny thing is as well, actually, I've sound about it, it reminds me a bit of piss. Like, it genuinely does. It smells like, you know, your piss you have the next day after you've had too many beers. Um, genuinely. Um, <laughs> and the Spanish people, you know, they say they mock their version of this beer, which is obviously a completely different beer. Um, I actually read that a lot of, it's known to taste like cow's piss. That's what people say in Spain about it. So yeah, this version is probably going to be worse. <laughs> so cheers, everybody. I can't wait. I won't say cheers in Spanish because it's not bloody Spanish. It's English. Cheers. <sighs> Sorry, bit of an angry review, but it really makes you mad. It really does. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. Shit. It's rubbish. No surprise at all for me. Generic as you like, metallic as you like, light bodied, watery, absolutely nothing to it, lager, that nobody's really gonna complain about because it don't taste like bugger all. Um, anybody, in my opinion, that's got half a clue about a good lager will know that this is dog shit. Corny, grainy, piss water, nasty sort of metallic, horrible bitterness on the end. No real flavour, no real quality at all of any kind in this beer. It's literally as basic as they come, probably brewed as cheap as they can possibly brew it and still manage to get away with it tasting remotely like beer. Low, low quality beer of complete nothingness. Pointless, waste of time, scamming, horrible. No, we'll be careful what I say. There's not enough words to describe what I think about this. Fake crap, I'm sick of it. Watered down swill. Don't bother with this beer. I mean, it's highly smashable in a sense. It don't taste like nothing. It's rubbish. There's hardly any malt in here at all. Hardly any hops. It's just designed just to, you know, go and drink Bud Light or something. Go and drink, you know, it's, it's just rubbish. <sighs> Very nasty aftertaste. That's about the only real flavour I'm getting is that horrible bitterness on the end. And the corn and... <laughs> some grain, cheap as you like. Just go and buy, if, if you're really struggling for money, just go to being Aldi and go and buy some Steinhauser, go and buy some Rheinbacker, something like that, because they are thousand percent, thousand percent better than this absolute crap. And it'll be cheaper. So don't say, well, I only drink it because it's cheap. Or I only drink Carling because it's cheap. Go to Aldi's, drink their cheap Steinhauser, way way better than this in every way it's a complete pointless beer and people need to stop buying it otherwise you're just going to get company after company doing the same thing and before you know it the decent beers won't be selling because everyone just wants tyson fury looking rubbish and you know what's it going to be next like fake japanese beers fake Thai beers fake fake this fake that and it's all going to be brewed in the uk so i urge people don't buy a beer that's uh, brewed in the UK. 
if it's supposed to be brewed somewhere else. You know, stick to your German beer, stick to your Czech beer, check the bottles before you buy them. Make sure if it's a Czech beer that is brewed in Czech Republic. If it's brewed in the UK, don't buy it. It's the only way this is gonna stop people. So about the little rant. I hope you've enjoyed this video for some reason, me moaning about beer. Um, thanks for all the subscribers. I really appreciate every single one of you. And um, take care guys, and don't buy this crappy beer. Till the next one, bye bye darlings.